okay so ccna so we are going to do the setup of packet tracer today and we will understand how to prepare the packet tracer setup and we are going to complete 80 percent lab uh, throughout the course and we have almost 100 plus lab for this so let's see in packet tracer what are we going to see now why we i have selected packet tracer first of all if you're going to for gns or ngv any virtualization setup you're going to take the huge effort and the huge resource going to be wasted but the output what you're going to get after the this long setup that's uh, for ccna level or for any automation level is a very low profile kind of stuff you're going to get so there is no high integration you need for this you have to learn the ccna you can quickly set up the lab understand the topology and do the real-time simulation means simulation what level of packet how the packet going to develop and you have to see how the packet going to while moving from one in device to another in device the packet formation going to be changed that that much is more than enough for the any kind of devops or uh, simulation or you are going for automation or any specializing you're going to do so ccna for that perspective that's the uh, best tool ever i seen and is this going to be keep on updated by cisco so you're going to get everything updated without worry so no need to do any worry any new thing is supposed to be added so in in the packet tracer we're going to see the real time in packet tracer we're going to see the real time the topology in that you're going to see the what's the logical topology as well as physical to topology setup and we will do the all all labs today only physical and logical labs second we have simulation simulation is very important because you're going to see the header how header going to be changed so header knowledge is uh, very very important for your interview wise and any kind of higher level of preparation if you do so packet header or frame header uh, or any tcp ip header if you able to see and study now come to the physical rack physical rack and stacking we have very few lab one or two lab we will do and you can all the logical labs you can able to see the physical rack and stack by default that's a packet tracer give you additional benefit so we will see how physical uh, rack and stack is easily can be virtualized over here then we have event list what is the event list so event list having huge number of protocol enable free of cost free of cost protocol set of protocol enable in packet tracer just i'm going to do the lab set of protocol huge number of means more than 20 to 30 protocol are enabled by default and you can do the each protocol level of testing and uh, you can improve your packet packet level of knowledge just i'm going to show you how you're going to check that and the next level we have event list of filtration means uh, if you have rich number of protocol set you cannot do the study for each and every protocol so what you do you do the filtration means you have filter you select two or three number of protocol on that you want to study or you want to capture the packet for the specific lab like you are doing a lab on the mac address so we will select only for arp suppose you i want to set up the lab for mac and i want to check the header how the header going to perform how the header going to be developed each and every once is going to transit from one one network device to another network device then here so we going to select the R protocol and we're going to see the all the this R protocol 
going to be developed what are the header going to add and remove okay guys still here career all five point everyone yes okay so let's next we have network device so we have very rich number of network device supported in packet tracer router switches firewall as well as wlc we have and all kind of ap so we will show you today we're going to see that and the in device in device we have set up of 10 to 12 server there is 10 plus 12 server almost we have 22 labs for the dedicated server so we will see all the features how this server going to be set up and what are the entire function end to end and apart from that from server rest of server apart from server we have uh, all kind of in device like pc laptop then you can enable those pc and laptop on wireless and we will test how it's working on wireless apart from that other intelligent media also I bet. then next we have connections the wire connectivity we will see what are the type of cross cable straight through and other kind of coaxial cable which is going to integrate all your dc dsl connectivity like for phone line we're going to see all type of connections and we have next when emulation when emulation is very beautiful and very strong i can say you that this is the cloud where we have set up of not only for phone line you have dsl setup that's a phone line so we will see how isp going to do the setup and second we have ethernet connectivity so we will do the lab on that for each device for each module we have separate lab don't worry and the last not least the wireless device and so we have variety of ap and wlc setup so we will do centralized wireless connectivity and their testing also so career so you can see here is a huge rich rich technology you can do by packet tracer you can touch almost every kind of technology what we have available uh, but in the other like virtualization in gns and even g you cannot able to uh, test everything wireless van emulation connections and all kind of stuff will be not available so that's a different here quickly without wasting time we can quickly jump to and we will devise the ccna now next so we are ready for lab so how many guys have go through the all video what i have already shared you guys uh, amit uh, are you go through those videos uh I have gone through video. Okay, have you installed packet tracer? No. Uh, no, uh, Abit, uh, no, I haven't installed it yet. Uh, okay, but I'll do it. So, Omkar, um, you also installed the packet tracer. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, yes, I, I will install it. Because uh, I will say to you the thing is that we, you can do the quickly lab, very quick lab. You can set up within five minutes your lab you create your lab and you can achieve what you want to do objective of lab so that your you can concentrate on the your practice rather than setting up the whole entire lab you can do your setup and this is going to be very complex don't you think these these are going to be very easy because while you are going to do the simulation testing that that going to help you entire setup of lab means from end to end you're going to understand so okay it's a light it's a free of cost you have to register just i have already given the one youtube video i will share you that link you can 
freely you can download and register for three months and okay. everything okay. available over there uh, same thing Pavan you also do I think this is your first class uh, okay so yeah. yes, yes, I will. so yeah. I will share you the link everything and I'm going to announce the Google class in that all the link and all the content will be shared so that you can sequentially pick up and do that so this is the first class and every class we have exercise we have labs so without lab you not going to leave the class so you have to do the lab so today's lab is very introductory level and you can set up your lab and you can start trigger your stuff okay come to packet tracer here so i have linux setup so you can do the uh, uh, lab in the window that's very easy so so this is are you able to see my screen guys everyone is very clear hello yes yep. okay so first point if i go to my First, find the, I talk about the real time here. Packet tracer real time. What do you mean by real time? The real time this tab can be able to see the right side, bottom of the tab, real time. So whatever you will draw here, it will come to the real time. So real time having two part. You can see this. Uh, one is you can see this. This one is logical. Can you see this? and this one is physical so real time you have lo logical as well as physical setup same way for simulation you have logical and physical setup second we have simulation what is simulation this is a real time this is simulation simulation going to show you the packet and header that's an advanced lab and in this packet and a header uh, that's a we have event list and event list filter what is that just I want to show you what are those options we're going to frequently use those options if you click simulation you can see this part we have event list and what are the event list we have ACL filter can you able to see this guys everyone I mean yes. Yes. yes okay so R BGP Bluetooth cap WAF, CDP DSCP DSCP V6 DNS DTP and Ethernet over the Ethernet over the LAN EIGRF EIGRF V6 so there is a, almost if you count there is a 48 lab for entire protocol guys honestly if you copy and paste in in your resume it will boost your resume for interview they have huge number of stuff so we going to do the lab on each and every technology and the end of day you going to be have rich of knowledge not only the theory part you have the lab so we will see how the packet level of knowledge means after the my ccna class you have one level greater whatsoever you have knowledge for ccna you will get the one level higher because we're going to talk every time header on header level what going to be change going to be happened what how the header going to be performed while logically moving from one device to another device people does not care about the header property if you have control of header you can you you going to rock on any level so so this is the objective we going to achieve throughout the ccna so we have this five point next network device if you come to the this uh, here at corner you can see the network device so we have variety of router switch if you see 4300 isr 
4321 ISR, 9041 Switch, 2900 Series, 2911, 8100 Series, that's the latest VPN routers, that's um, very good, the latest introduced. 1829, we have VPN as well as wireless, 1240 and the other routers, means in any in like GNS or any kind of like this 20, 2621, 2620 these are the terminal server routers means you can create console connectivity and you can use octal so you have dual infrastructure development using these two routers are very important and 2811 means you can see here it's a huge number of models we have available but in the GNS and other product you have to buy those software to integrate or you have to make some arrangement uh, you understand what kind of arrangement you have to make now next we have switches 2960 35600 this is the L3 switch Compatible of routing as well as switching, we can create SVI, then 3650 and 3560. These are the very compatible switches. We will see code to distribution, how it's going to behave. Then 2950 and these are the switches. So entire this switch we have in my rack also. You can see that this L3 switches and L2 switches. But these are things we are going to get easily and we will do the lab on this model with the stack, non-stack, everything. Now next we have wireless. So if you see in wireless lab, if you are going to do outside uh, and GNS it's not possible any kind of wireless lab or AVNG. But we have this flavor available over here so like wlc we have wlc here you can see wlc we have 3500 series 2500 series of ap and these are the l2 ap's all are dummy and we have um, wireless router in builder wireless router so again for wireless device we have variety of stuff where we're going to do the lab and next we have firewall so we have two firewall model 5506 and 5505 series so both are almost same but vpn and other stuff we will see how they're going to be changing with the licensing wise then i talk about the van simulator this is a van simulator for dsl model and the cable model for we have dedicated lab for dsl model where how to connect the phone line and how to set up the uh, home router or the small site routers so you you going to see the um, site connectivity with the main branch so through the dsl modem and then cable model modem which is applicable for like this disconnectivity and other kind of uh, apart from the phone line the technology what other technology available and we have again we have lab for those also so how to dial th this is a very old concept but we have provision to do that also next uh, as for our syllabus we have connections so connections also we have very rich connectivity if you see connections so if you go to connector and just i want to show you first for physical connector so let's wait come to real time first here yes come to real time then go to physical and wait. Simulator, real time, logical. You, you remove this connection first. 
then come to physical or go for the connector okay I will show you while I will do the lab I will show you this is not showing yet because we have not selected them any any device yet once we will select we will see that okay so let us start the lab we have lab today we have two lab first we will see the logical connectivity and second lab we have physical rack and stack connectivity so you can see guys this is the rack connectivity the actual rack in that racking having the how many guys work on the rack have you seen the rack before that yes uh, yes you have seen that so this packet tracer can you virtual visualize is the somehow the rack is same Omkar? yes it is uh, yes exactly. it is so um, rack and stacking having the um, a space how many a space supposed to be what a spacing supposed to be maintained between the device and the device supposed to be added in that so one us space almost having 1.75 inch one u unit equal to so in the data center data center we use the unit for a spacing with the one u how many u like two u gap three u gap and what is the dimension of the uh, device what a space going to take how many u they going to take so standard rack size is the 42 u and total is 19 inch and today we will see the how the rack and stacking done because those don't know the rack and stacking means like for one year or two years they don't know the how the rack and stack going to be happened how it should look like like Pavan you can see this is the actual rack and stacking and the, we will do the today lab for that yeah, yeah. okay so today we will do only the logical structure we will understand and how the physical structure going to be generate automatic these two lab we have so first lab we're going to introduce our devices what are the device and logically how it's a look then we will see the next lab the connectivity and a small lab we will start how to set up the stuff l2 connectivity accordingly we will move on so new new cages uh, with door that with 48 port u as well it is a new standard ah uh, sorry Preeti can you repeat again yeah you said not when there is 42 u rack is available and it is a standard and uh, saying that we have a new uh, standard as well where 48 u rack space is coming with cages ah uh, yes recently that's uh, with the server you are talking the no with network devices as well for network devices as well okay so that's true guys that's how many you you are telling 48 you 48 you i think i i told same thing you know you said 42 oh it, this is 42 you standard rack okay i will check because uh, networking nowadays uh, that's uh, white switches is in market so the extension of the rack extender is increased maybe okay i will check i will get back to you but the as per cisco syllabus it's a mention 42 u 19 inch rack okay thank you pretty for update and guys you all are free to update if you you are you guys are working professional you can update me i will i will cross check and update accordingly okay uh, we come to the next so let's do this what are the device logically how are we going to set up Pavan, you have to understand how to set up the lab 
so this is very basic from here the rest of people they know these things for them this is a revision okay so so you can click this network device once you click you have variety of network over here so i'm going to select very basic one 1941 router 1941 router and i will select very basic l2 switch 2960 series of switches they are these setup is very basic okay so i took one router one switch two switches pavan create the you are able to see this yeah yes yes and you yeah, can I'm... yes you have to do this setup in your home if you're getting any challenge so now you can share your topology i will help you to troubleshoot in that okay yes, so once you do that you have to select we're going to do very small lab today just we want to see the how the logical device having the physical rack and stacking so you have to first create the logical topology over here then it will automatically generate the physical topology and we will understand that so this is one and we have in device for in device you can click here you can see a variety of in device so i will select few of one i will select one pc over here we will select two servers so these are server just drag just click and drag click and drag so we have two server one pc and i will take one laptop over here yes one laptop i will take this end okay suppose you want to uh, carry two devices so you have to use control and click this if you click this you can take multiple same device okay so once you release this control then this so, but i don't want to you select this and delete that you can delete multiple device in one shot so they will ask you and you can delete that also i don't need so please practice it at home so that you're going to get comfortable about this okay now so we have um, two switches one router two servers one pc one laptop and i will select uh, one of let's select one of the wireless device so i will go for network go to network go to wireless module and take one ap one dummy ap i am going to take so i will take one dummy ap Hello, are you guys able to? Wait. What happened? This guys, I think this is stuck. Wait. Do you want to save? Yes, save it. Okay, save it like uh, give the name ABC topology. I just am going to save it and reopen. If sometime it's going to hang, so you have to again restart. Okay, and save your topology. That's very easy to work with this. So you can go to file and open your topology abc topology this is the abc and check it out yes now it's working so if it's happened with the gns and even g you are not able to recover your topology that's the best part in this so you can quickly close the setup and restart it's going to help you okay 
guys clear here so now so this is my physical topology means sorry this is the logical one and i want to add one more suppose i have added the one firewall i will keep parallel to the router one firewall so i have not done any connectivity yet just i have selected my devices logically now so you want to develop the physical lack so you just click the physical you just say save it first uh, you go Wait. Wait, guys. This is supposed to be this. So you just do the control as save it, and after that you can move to the physical. If you going to move the physical. This is shows you home city. Then click it home city, and from there you come to your rack position. Main wire closures. If you click that, they will give you the view of that. So let me bring this side. So this is the view of the rack. Can you able to see this view of rack? okay yeah so you have your l2 switches your firewall sorry these two are server this is the firewall uh, asa firewall this is your router and this, these two are l2 switches and again this is what is this device this is the router one and this this is the this is the access point so you can zoom if you going to click that it's going to give you the what is the power distribution devices so there is a power connector we will see next lab how to connect the power in this lab we have only the physical setup or you can understand how the physical physically they are going to place and how real time this rack associated with those diagram and this is very handy to develop your lab and you understand the what actual how they actually it's a look like in data center and how the logical diagrams this is you will see the logical diagram whenever you go and go for data sheet so you're going to check the logically they have connectivity or like this but the physical having connectivity like this so this make you very enriched knowledge about without you have real time exposure for five year 10 year or 10 more than 10 year of exposure in the real data sensor and networking field so this is very good tool so these are these two labs i have added here which is so we have saw the router switches access point laptop and desktop so I have one query yes Priti, tell me yeah, you have uh, shown that physical as well as logical connectivity so just i want to be clear that are those devices auto placed in the physical design or we have the option to place the device as per our requirement very good yes uh, we we can do as for our point also suppose uh, uh i i will we will take the can, uh, next lab for how you going to replace if you want to place one more rack over here suppose i want to add something one table so how do you add one table over here here i have added one table okay and i want to add some pc or laptop over here so go to logical diagram just i want to because you asked me the question that's a very beautiful question so i just add the laptop over here and we will go to physical diagram here there is a laptop can you see here guys yeah so here is a laptop suppose i want to add one 
uh, one desktop one pc so it will again come to the on my physical desktop and i want to replace this just you replace over here okay so this is one desktop so you but can do like this can we, in RAM. can we alter the position of the device which is placed in the fast track like yeah. i want to place my router at the top then the switches at the bottom can can we do that yes uh -huh. suppose i want to do the this switch on the bottom and i want to take the some space in bottom so i will take this and this rack is empty here and this switch is come down that's a very handy tool that's a very we will see all these things and guys here the preeti asks very beautiful question over here if you see in real time stacking is the same thing happened like here the connector is there the device is this much only and they have two us space a spacing to connect this so you can place your stuff like you want to place your router down to the uh, this so you can place your stuff like this you can move just you move but you have to create the proper uh, spacing suppose uh, i want to place um, this this uh, access point top if we don't have a space it will not get suppose this uh, space we have so we can move this server to up because that many uh, spacing we have available and this is the default one this is the, the power power backup available power connector connector are available on the top of the rack you can move that also in in between that so from power connector move from the top to bottom so we will see the connect connectivity next lab we have how to connect the device how we have to connect power circuit and other kind of uh, connector how many type of connector do we have suppose i want to add uh, like uh, one firewall more more room I, I want to add one more firewall i will go to the network device and select one of the device like 5506 this is one and we will go to physical and you see this is this device come here that is not a good right so we will make a placement in the rack instead of the table so like that you can do that that's a very easy tool and we have good virtualization understanding how virtually how you can understand how the placement of device and other stuff you can move your device a little up and down by easily drop and drag and you want to see the any connectivity suppose this is server i want to see just click it and you have uh, complete connectivity detail and what are the modules you have what are the card connectivity and each card having feature very enriched feature suppose i click one card this they given the description of this card so this card having if you see host nm1ce this is isdn line so i will tell you i will we will discuss what doing by isdn line it will not going to connect normal rj45 or gig interface so if i want to take fast returns so i will click this model by looking on the one ffe there is a fge one we if you see one w this is the suitable for ethernet and lan for wireless so kind of you will understand each and every module you just click and understand the features with the their diagrams okay so this is fast ethernet this is copper c c means copper and f for fast ethernet so copper fast ethernet and what how many speed compatibility of speed they given so entire module having all the property by understanding that we will replace our module even we can add the new model let's take the one example for like laptop i want to make wireless so i will switch off the laptop first this is green button we will switch off now laptop is switched off after that what we will do we will remove this ethernet connectivity this is empty now once it's empty we're going to add our wireless so w4 wireless so we have three kind of wireless module first 
wireless module 2.4 gigahertz and next we have 5 gigahertz module and the last one we have compatibility of the dual compatibility model so we will study and while we will going to study the wireless we will see all type of module but what is doing by 2.8 gigahertz what doing by the 5 gigahertz and the other wireless band we have this different kind of band so suppose i took the uh, one of the fundamental wireless connector and this so we don't have ethernet now this this is going to work on the wireless connectivity no need to add anything means it's going to connect with the our ap you see it's going to connect with the our ap access point so what is the reason of switching off uh, the device first before replacing the modules Ah, uh, sorry Preeti, i did not get you again repeat it mm -hmm. What is the reason of switching off the device first before replacing the module? Any specific reason we are switching off the device? Switching of device, uh, replacing of module. No, no, just I am giving you examples. Later on, we are going to study how you have, okay, switching off the device. You are going to power off the device first. If you it's a real time if you're not going to power off device and you're going to change this it's going to maybe corrupt your device this is the best practice you have to switch off power off the device suppose i don't do this power off and you try to remove this you are not able to remove that because they can't remove when the power is on so any device you can do the hot swappable you are telling I understand what you are looking for. There is a method called hot swappable. Without switching off the device, you can change the module, right? In router and uh, high end devices, right? I just, I just highlight it so that you can use the word based practice. So, in a yes. real time environment, the base practice is always switch off the device if it is not hot swappable before replacing yes. the module so that right. the module didn't got corrupted. So, that's right. why I highlighted that point right so this is the best practice guys once you switch off means this will make you practice in your simulation itself you can switch off the device then only you can swap the module otherwise it may be corrupt it means it's a good practice so thank you Preeti. again this is um, so you have to switch off device and then you have to swap any module before that if you try in the packet tracer of course they will stop you you they it's not going to allow even so we are able to finish our both the lab one more question yes pretty yeah in the physical uh, topology are they uh, like symbolize the cables as well like uh, is there any terminology that it will reflect the cables of optical fiber or ethernet so that we can identify in the physical topology how the devices are connected which cables are there ah uh, yes uh, like uh, if you uh, click here on cables so we have different type of cable no so, not here in physical suppose we have connected the cables in logical diagram okay and in physical it will will it reflect or not yes it will reflect that and that i told you earlier suppose uh, here this is going to show you the cross straight through cable cross over cable phone cable but in physical if i switch to this so you can see these are going to see in their actual diagram can you see down like see yeah, here, right. dc yeah. we have octal cable we have a think of um uh, intelligent thinking cables and usb we have crossover cable we have a straight through cable and console cable so these are the physical demography it's going to show you while you will go for physical then only and once we connect the physical and then you can see what are the cable actual connected because the cable connected is here so next lab we will see today we have very basic understanding how the physical rack and stack 
and what is logical connectivity so that we can further we can do the our lab we will see next level lab how to connect this device and guys we will start our class on only for one router one switch and some of the server and uh, and the in device and gradually we going to study about the l3 switch l2 switch and their protocol and we will do the header analysis then entire lab we will going to set up and do the huge big lab so your lab going to be gradually going to increase and you have to do hands-on practice means we have very rich number of connection very rich number of devices router switches firewall security devices wireless devices and top of that we have a rich number of protocol once we will start the lab we will not only see the real time we will going to capture the simulator and we will discuss each and every header then your level going to be very high because you going to see the how the header going to behave and we going to analysis on the header level or first five to six lab on the basic lab after that we will move each lab we will see the header and we will understand that how this header going to be related with the packet moment so guys uh, i am done for the today okay so one last thing left how you going to configure for desktop i i need to show this ip configuration terminal and command prompt and web browsing you supposed to see for each device you have this facility suppose i want to show for you laptop laptop go for desktop in desktop you have ip configuration and terminal and command prompt command prompt you can click and you can capture your config ip config this is going to be day to day huge full command ip config we're going to check what ip addressing we're going to uh, configure over here suppose i have configured the configuration 192.168.1.1 and the subnet by default slash 24 and default gateway i'm going to give you 192.168.1.100 so one quickly we we will start live i will show you how to work this so my ip config going to be changed with the 192.168 and with the default gateway and you can do the yourself ping testing ping 192.168 dot one dot one the self pinging it must anyone can you tell why it's not working self pinging self pinging is supposed to work because the laptop is is a switch on or switch off there is no connectivity it's supposed to work okay sorry guys we have module okay we have module the switch on desktop IP config IP config we have one ninety two ping self ping must supposed to work wait let me see for desktop otherwise we have to do the connectivity first static 192.168.2 and i will not give gateway let's check it's working or not ip config so we have ip and the self test must be passed. So we have to do the connectivity first, and then it, they will start pinging themselves. Okay, so so here till here, so you understand that we have 
available of for each device terminal what the terminal we will show you how to connect the console from terminal so console going to be connected from pc to the any of the server and router or switches and you have to do the setup of console so once connectivity done then we will show the how ip going to assign static or dscp so we will do the lab for dscp then it going to automate the ip they going to receive and on static ip we will assign and we will do a small lab for next classes so till here career guys any questions any questions Priti any question till here no I don't have any yeah. okay uh, and what about Omkar uh, no sir nothing I don't know yeah so Pavan comfortable anything you want to add no no I'm comfortable okay guys so i'm going to stop recording here and next class we're going to meet with the next level how the connectivity going to be done and we will start assigning ip address we see that after adding the ip address there is no effect even they are not able to allow the self pinging so i will show you how to test the nick card there is a loop back testing i don't want to cover today's class um, because uh, my objective is different for today so there is a testing called nick testing that's a loop back testing means uh, you have to test yourself your nic card is working or not so you don't need any connectivity outside any connectivity to the any network you can do your nick testing by loop back testing we will understand the one class one lab we have loop back testing test okay guys so see you in next class and um, if you have any questions you can ask me now